The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And he'll wind up about four yards shy of where he would have been if he had taken a knee as they'll start at the 21-yard line. Tony Michelle, his first carry. And he got blown up on that play. Back at the 20. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. That's a really alert defense there because they saw the heavy look come in from the offense, countered it with extra linebackers who brought a little bit of speed and heft, and able to really make a big-time play for their defense. Here's Brady. Blitz coming, and down he goes. Brandon, if I'm an offensive coordinator and I see an all-out rush like that, I file it away because I'm going to use their aggressiveness against them as this game goes on. I'm going to hit them with a screen soon. After the sack, they'll come up now third and long. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised to see them run the ball here just to try and get some space. And instead, they want to throw it off play action. He's going to air it out deep for Hogan. In a double coverage, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Jeff Heath. And they'll take over inside the 45 at the 44-yard line. Certainly not how they envisioned ending their opening drive here in the first quarter. Too many ones in this play. First quarter, first drive, first interception thrown. And that last one, that hurts. Here's Prescott. The Pats are going to get there. Down he goes. That's called setting the tone right away. It certainly is, and it lets you know just how important communication is amongst the offensive line. They talk about it all the time, knowing each other's moves. You've got to be coordinated and in sync. Otherwise, your quarterback gets hit. Prescott now on second down. And he'll hit the slant route. That's caught by Cooper. And this time he's able to take it down to the 42. They get 11 back on that one. It leads to third down. One thing you do know, he's going to get his catches. So as they move forward defensively, got to continue to focus on not giving up the big play when he does catch the ball in the secondary. On third down, it's Prescott. Flushed out right. Now he's going to send this one deep right side. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked off by Patrick Chung, and he is going to be stopped on the return at his own three-yard line. Okay, it's real simple to say from here, but we know that sometimes as a quarterback, you've got to know when to say when and just throw it away. Flushed out to the right, tries to make something out of nothing here, and he winds up floating one downfield. I think it's intercepted. Charles, for the New England Patriots, one stat that you and I were looking at before the game is kind of interesting. When they lost in weeks 14 and 15, it's the first time they suffered back-to-back -back defeats in December since 2002. So I don't know that they're in trouble as they go toward the playoffs, but not playing their best football. I think that's a great point because you have to go back to 2002 for that to happen. So their level of consistency off the charts. But you're exactly right. They are not playing their best football. And what they're always competing for is one of those opening week buys where they have to play that extra game in the playoffs. It looks like this year they may very well have to play that extra game. And if that's the case, that's not the recipe for getting to the Super Bowl for the New England Patriots. So a much rosier picture now after that last play. Here's first and 10 at the 19-yard line. On first and 10, here's Brady. That is incomplete. Julian Edelman, the intended receiver, and now it's second down. It's always a battle. Who's going to win on first down, the offense or the defense? Let's face it, if you've got the ball, four yards or more on first down is what you're aiming for. They tried to throw for it there. Nice effort to knock that one away and bring up second down. And oh, look at that, a diving catch. Brady to Gronkowski for the Patriot first down. Well, partner, when you ask anyone other than your QB to throw the ball, you must have a lot of confidence, or you think you're really going to fake them out. And it looks like they did exactly that. They're going deep in the playbook and a great grab on the other end. And right side caught Hogan. 
And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. A very solid gain of 27. Two first downs have him up to the 41 now for first and 10. Right, 20. Brady now on first down. And nearly picked off there. Almost intercepted. Instead, second down. Well, nearly another interception there. That would have been two drives in a row with a pick. He's got to start taking care of the ball way better than what we're seeing. Interestingly, that throw was probably worse than the one he threw the interception on last drive, but fell incomplete. And he's going to be sacked. They sack him back right at the midfield stripe. Enough takes a start to have a good drive. Quite like a big loss on a sack, does it? No, now they're looking at a third and long, and suddenly the momentum shifted to the other side of the football. And old Mo is a very, very fickle man. And he is going to go down. He will be sacked on the final play of this first quarter. Alongside Charles Davis, Brandon Gauden, it's the Patriots in possession to begin quarter number two, but likely not for long as they're in punt formation to kick it away. On fourth down on now is the lefty Ryan Allen to punt. Back deep is Tavon Austin. And he will score! Touchdown, Patriots! A big play there! Taking it in! And the Pats able to cash in for six. Now Steven Goskowski on for the extra point. Extra point good by Goskowski. And it's now a 7-0 game. So here's the kickoff now as he'll get it again following that fumble return for a score. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he'll take it back to about the 19-yard line. Well, partner, as the Cowboys come back out here, I want to ask you to assess the season. The first couple months of the year for Dallas starting to look like they'd be sitting at home in January. Then the Amari Cooper trade comes. They breeze through November unbeaten, part of a five-game winning streak. But then a real head-scratcher. Week 15, they get shut out in Indy. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Kyle Van Noy. Tough to handle on that blitz. He gets him for a loss of five. Now, we talk about players blitzing all the time. I often laugh and sometimes call it just straight-ahead pursuit. What a running start right back to the backfield for him. Yeah, it really didn't give anybody a chance to get up there and stop him. No, I mean, that's really, really difficult. You're asking a whole lot anyway, but when he gets that kind of a start and comes through clean, oftentimes the advantage definitely goes to the defensive player. Look at the throw. Prescott. Not only was the call spot on, how about the execution of that defense right there? The zone was absolutely locked up tight. He was trying to force it in there on third down. But if there's a time to force it, he felt like he needed to make a play, right? Yeah, exactly right. Third down, you got to try and find something. There's nothing available there for him. So on fourth down, here's Chris Jones to punt it away. Back deep for New England, Julian Edelman. job bringing that one back 14 on the return and the Patriots take over the Patriots offense now they work their way back onto the field and things haven't started so well for this side two drives two punts so now you've got to start looking not just at play calling but which guy's going to step forward and say okay let's get this thing done because within that unit of 11 sometimes one guy can make a big time play and break through the barrier and a minimal gain here as he's up to about the 47 yard line Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. What's the old expression? Three yards in a cloud of dust? In this case, it's dust-covered pellets. It's no longer that old grass that we used to play on right and chew it up. Now we've got that artificial surface. You see the pellets go up. Still a nice play by the defense. Over the middle, that's caught by Hogan. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. Give him 15 yards on that one, and New England has a first down. 
Now a first down carry. It's Michelle. And this play will be blown up. He'll lose yardage back at the 38. It's a loss of a yard there. And now second down. Uh, it's a tough one right there. He ran right into the teeth of the blitz as the linebacker was freed up in order to stuff that one for a loss. I think quarterbacks got to see that. Got to find a way to audible to something a little more advantageous. And they'll wind Hey, hey, I ain't folding under pressure. I ain't switching for no, I ain't talking to no cop and I ain't telling on my.